so we're going to show you uh, one quick way of getting your pucks jerseys maximum price 150 this one's got no, I don't have that jersey someone else will need that jersey they weren't looking at the time 50 bucks you know someone's bought, someone else has jumped in and uh, done the the 50 bits on some of these um, so what we could do with doing is uh, predominantly I try and search the NHL for some reason I didn't do that this time around um, a lot of people start the bid in a, a 100 which is the clever thing to do I mean the quick sell for all of these is uh, 70 bucks um, maybe not this one but we don't know that um, I'm not a hundred percent but I know the silvers are definitely 70 bucks but a lot of people put these on far too cheaply um, and if it's ones that people don't have people will buy uh, people will buy them from you uh, admittedly someone's come along and looks like they've already done most of these so we'll jump in we'll go a bit further back on these uh, especially jerseys that aren't the original jerseys which are obviously slightly harder to get hold of um, which is where you want to be ideally going with these but it, it's just an easy way um, to make small small profits but I mean if you haven't got much in the way of outlay then you want to start off with these you know the small items and maybe double your money you spend maybe you buy 15 jerseys um, at 50 bucks a time and then put them back up for a minimum of 150 you know I mean, it, it always pays off to, to search a little bit but you can make you know maybe 1500 to 2000 bucks in the space of what an hour that's, that's uh, you know with with nothing as you're starting or you know 600 bucks max as your starter base to be able to you know turn that into two and a half grand that's a pretty good pretty good start on basically other people's errors um, because a lot of people if they're not looking for the jersey at the time that these these buyouts start or buyouts end especially if you don't put a buyout price and you put the, the the starting price too low you will lose money so never put your starting price lower than than what you're going to be uh, what you've already paid for it because that's just you know that's just common sense um, so a lot of these pucks I mean that one's that one will probably sell for 100 but I don't want to pay 100 for it I want to pay 50 for it so that's that's as simple as it is um, again with the Bruins jersey that's not their first jersey it's got no no buyout price on it I happen to know I mean obviously I've, I've bought all the the Ottawa jerseys most of these go for 250 easily um, not that I paid that myself because that's not how I do things I buy things cheap as I can get them but there's a lot of people like a lot of people just deal in these jerseys and a lot of people that I've seen that deal in these jerseys have been losing money to me because I buy them at 50 bucks a time and they could have quick sold them for more than that so you know I'm, I'm not sure what price these guys are buying the jerseys for but they're not making any money um, I mean if you if you can't sell the jersey it's easy either put it in your collection or just quick sell it but yeah buying, uh, buying jerseys at a 50 start a lot of these I won't win um, but most of them I will um, I've got about three or four of those jerseys now all of which I've sold um, and I've bought them all for 50 and I've sold them all for 250 so you know that's that's quite a percentage increase on your money so uh, yeah spend a few t few moments a day um, having a look in the in the auction and just see what you can pick up nice and cheap and sell on for a little bit more okay so um, all the auctions have ended now on the the shirts I've been buying um, so we're gonna go to the watch list and see how many we've won and that is a pretty good sign uh, looks like I've won everything on this page and on the next page these are all all 50 buyouts okay I didn't win that's one 
uh, that I didn't win. Uh, and all the rest I have, and that one's got a minute left, so I, I'd like to say I'm probably going to win that one, um, but it's not 100%. Okay, so we've won maybe 20 jerseys, um, and all of the ones that are silver um, are quick sell of 70 bucks. So that's like a 20% profit um, from what we've already done. So not a bad start. Um, obviously, we're not going to be quick selling these because that would be a waste of time. Um, I am going to skip a lot of this just because it takes so long uh, to do each one. Um, but as you can see there, quick sell uh, is 70 bucks. But we're going to send to trade pile. I've only got nine spaces left in my trade pile. Um, so I will send off across uh, what I can and then I shall meet you there. Okay, we got to the trade pile. Um, there's some stuff that I've sold. Uh, this is all bought from a bronze pack set, obviously the uh, the gold one there, um, which I managed to pick up. I think I picked that up for 150. Um, so, yeah, definite profit there. Uh, probably could have sold it for more. Than, I think it actually only buys out for maybe 235, because um, it's 75, not a. I think 76 is plus uh, sell for sell for 313 I think um, but it's good to you need to know um, what the what the quick sales are because if you're putting things on with a buyout of less or even the, the start price of less than what you can quick sell it for you just you're just losing money uh, to yourself so yeah got some money back from there from a gold pack and there's here's all my available items um, some of my jerseys in here and some some of the bronze players that didn't sell. Uh, this guy, I just picked this guy up for 600 bucks. Um, and we're going to stick him back on for a minimum of 650, and just like a 750 buyout. Uh, okay, let's start on the jerseys. Um, there's some basic uh, jerseys. Ones that are the standard jerseys, I'd say start at one um, with a buyout of 150. And if they're not standard jersey, you just start at 150, buy up two, and uh, you can keep doing this all day long. Um, I have trouble getting rid of the uh, the training cards. Uh, contracts are not a problem. Uh, sometimes people don't get there in time, and you have to put them back on again. But I've I've never had to list it more than twice. Um, I'm just going to be going through and these ones are, are actually pretty popular so I'm going to put a buy of three on that one um, but it'll, it'll get sold that's not a problem um, yeah well 150 to 2 I think is a fair price um, on 150 on that one put a starting price of 3 because he doesn't quick sell for more than that um, buy out full. Quick one to one fifty. I mean, all you're looking for here is it's just a quick turnaround, really. Um, it's a relatively uncommon jersey. Uh, this one I'm gonna do that price. It's it's simple things. Um, it's a little bit time consuming. Don't get me wrong. I picked this guy up for six hundred bucks as well. Um, people put buyouts at six hundred. It's it's stupid, <laughs> but. People, stupid people make me money and they can make you money as well so if you see a buyout uh, of 600 on a you know on a rare gold that's that's more than 76 pick it up and uh, whack it back in I mean it's an 82 overall I can probably get uh, he's a lefty they don't sell for as much so I'm, I'm gonna put a 800 on that guy uh, Fraser you can go for 350 star price because he quick sells for just uh, over three, uh, that I'm actually going to send to consumables pile because I've tried that three times now. And there we go, I've got all my uh, all my auctions on. And fingers crossed, we might get lucky and uh, we'll get some we'll get some more bucks. I right, started at 30, just over 36k. Uh, I've bought all of this and I'm at 34.9, say, or 35.49, sorry. Hope you guys have some luck with this. Um, I've been having luck with it. I've made 
well, I've made 35 pucks, uh, 35,000 pucks, plus 21 players of the Ottawa Senators so far, uh, and counting. So, good luck, guys, and uh, yeah, I might do a next video if you like this one.